Welcome back to 843 TV. We are now joined by Ms. Kristen Parker, who is the Jasper County School District Teacher of the Year. Congratulations, first Thank and you. foremost. And thanks for having me. Yes, ma'am, absolutely. So um, tell us a little bit about your background, your education, where you grew up, which may be nearby, and uh, just how you got to this position. Okay, I grew up in Jasper County, went to high school here, graduated in 1998. I went to South Carolina State, graduated in 2002, decided to come right back here mm -hmm. and serve my community. And I've been teaching here for 12 years. Nice. Well, um, you're third grade teacher and um, teacher of the year. I mean, how did you feel when you, when you heard that you were going to be teacher of the year in your hometown? I was super excited, <laughs> but I worked really hard and to know that my colleagues appreciate and, yeah. you know, have that respect for me. It was overwhelming. Yeah, well, that's a huge yeah. achievement. Yes, it is. <laughs> you teach third grade. What, what about it do you like the most? Well, third grade was one of those grades that I said I never wanted to teach. <laughs> <laughs> now I got you. So I've been teaching third grade for three years now, and I don't want to go back down. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I love it. It's a challenge, but it's worth it, you know. What's some of the, you know, what are you going over in third grade? I mean, is that, um, that you're not into division and multiplication at that point, or where are you in third grade? With um, I'm with it all. Multiplication, <laughs> division, teaching them how to read. There's so many, you know, levels. Mm -hmm. So that's why I love that challenge. You have the beginning readers, you have the students ready for fourth and fifth grade. So, you know, it makes my job a and, little And the kids harder. are still sweet at that point, right? They yes. haven't turned into know it all <laughs> yet. Yeah, yeah. yeah for, for our viewers, could, could just to refresh their memory, how old is a third grader? They're eight-year-olds. Eight, eight years old. Eight and nine, <laughs> yes. Yeah, and are they using some of Tracy's technology in your classroom? Yes. They are? They are currently using mm. a program called iStation okay. you know, to build their reading and uh, math skills. Okay. Yes. And is that something that's on the computer? Is that on a tablet? Is that on a phone? How do they access that? On the computer. We have four mm. computers in the classroom, okay. and they rotate throughout the day. And, and how many eight-year-olds, um, roughly, are in your class on a daily basis? Twenty-seven. Okay. And are they changing <laughs> classes yet, or are they with you all day? With me all day. Okay. Yes. <laughs> They're not changing quite yet. No, they only go to specials, PE, and those type yeah. of classes. So you're developing a relationship with these 27 children oh, yes, all year they long. They're my babies. Yeah. They call me mother. <laughs> yes. Very cool. I know already having to do a lot of teaching third grade. What are some other extra um, activities that you currently coordinate? Well, right now I'm helping with the Jasper County Pops and Recreation. I'm working with the girls team. I'm a basketball coach for Little League, and I do a lot with the community as far as the church, helping out with the youth and, and programs. So were you a basketball player? Uh, for a little while. <laughs> <laughs> and, and are Just those, for a little while. Are the kids that you're teaching basketball around the same age? Or are they little? Yes, they are elementary school kids. Okay, so you've got kind of... Eight to 11-year-old girls. You kind of targeted in on the uh, on that age group. Yes, I think that you know keeping them involved. Mm -hmm. So I work towards that, keeping them involved in sports and actively fit. You know, fighting that obesity and yeah. staying out of trouble. That's that's an interesting point because it's a it's a almost a trans transcendent uh, age for these kids. You know, they're about to become preteen, adolescent, but they're still children yes. in a way, uh, and and they can be influenced very easily, mm -hmm. can't they? Yes. Yeah. You can still reach them. Mm -hmm. you know? yeah. Yes, getting them involved as much as I can. So, mm -hmm. you know, I don't have to do it. I just volunteer. You know, I'm, I'm a mother of four. Okay. So get them involved and get other kids involved as well. Nice. So as District Teacher of the Year, um, how would you encourage um, view viewers and members of the Jasper County community to support the school district? Come in as much as you can, and on our website, you will find a DonorsChoose.org button. Okay. You know, through that button, you can donate supplies and materials needed for the children at the school. And we'll put that um, website up, but that's a very important and um, beneficial way for uh, people to contribute to their community, isn't it? Yes, Just the, it the is. children are a part of the, the future here yes. at Just, at Jasper County, and we want to give them all the tools that we can. Exactly. And from being here in the past, too, I know. Y'all always looking for volunteers, right? To always, come every day. Yeah. You know, what can volunteers do when they come here? Like tutor or you know help coach or I mean, what do they do as volunteers? Reading is a okay. big issue, mm -hmm. and you know we have a lot of students struggling with reading. So any type of literacy help we can get, mm -hmm. volunteers reading to the kids, tutoring, working with them with writing, so mm -hmm. building skills in those areas. Yeah, and this is so important. My mother actually taught reading recovery for 30 years where I'm from, so. 
uh, the reading is just is taking the time to work with the kids. Like yes. you said, volunteers are a great resource. Yes. Any extra hands? Extra help. hands. Yeah. <clears throat> so um, we were overheard y'all talking before. There's an award ceremony today, which you're going to right after this. Yes. Um, what is that award ceremony all about, and how often do you reward the kids or give them awards for academics and behavior and that sort of thing? Well, this particular um, program today is for at the end of every nine weeks. Mm -hmm. We have honor roll, good citizens students that's just overall excelling in class. Mm -hmm. So we do that every four to nine weeks. Wow. But throughout the year, we recognize these kids for any achievement yeah. that they have. I'm sure they love it too. Yes, they? they do. <laughs> and yeah. the parents love it too. We get a big crowd. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, recognizing achievement with positive reinforcement is a way to kind of uh, build some, you know, encourage them to, to continue to Excel, right? Yes, I mean, they does. really it, it kind of resonates with them yes. when they have an award ceremony like this and something to take home and put on the fridge, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> In front of everybody, the whole That's, school. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Yes. <laughs> Even if it's not academics, we focus That's and right. we try to pull mm -hmm. yeah. any little thing that you're doing that's yeah. great and we recognize it. It's so. good motivation. Yes. Well, congratulations again. Thank on you. Teacher of the Year for the district. That's a great achievement. And thank you for being with us. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. And thank you for watching 843 TV, where communities come to speak.